I just decided all of a sudden to come on to the camera because I have some more things I want to try. And I didn't want to like let you guys out. So this is a energy wellness shot with coffee and fruit and whatever this word is. Re Ishi, blah, 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 blah. don't know, whatever, gonna take it. It has 100 milligrams of coffee or caffeine from a caffeine. It has 100 milligrams of caffeine from a coffee fruit and it contains a adaptogenic, whatever that word is, in live probiotics. I'm all for probiotics and prebiotics. And then this is another kombucha. It's a spring edition. It is the spring. And it has elderflower. Don't know what that is. Jasmine and violet. Hmm. It says post your best selfie. I need to take a selfie so I can <laughs> post it. <laughs> um, yeah. This one does have alcohol. It says, please note. Kombucha is a fermented tea that has naturally occurring alcohol. Do not consume if you are avoiding alcohol due to pregnancy, allergies, sensitivities, or religious beliefs. Do not shake. Did I shake this? Oh my gosh, I don't be knowing y'all. I knew not to shake kombucha. I told y'all this in the last video. But yeah, I'm about to head back to work. I had to grab my own lunch. I got some eggs in here. I got my salt and my pepper. And I got this like thing you got pretzels and chocolate and apples yep oh, let me take this real quick i'll take this one later i'm gonna take this one now here we go it smells good do i shake this one shake it because the last one said shake didn't it It tastes better than the other one. Ugh. But it tastes like medicine. Strong medicine. But yeah, let's hope it works. I need a boost. I had Starbucks this morning, but what else? Let's go. So I thought I had my purse, but my purse is in the car. So I have to carry all this stuff by hand. I might put it in the bag. So I came in here to get my pump and the pump because. It had been so long since I pumped and fed Odell. I also got this with my hair. It's still called wig out to keep like that wet look. So I'm gonna use this. Y'all let me know if y'all have ever, you know, what y'all use on y'all hair. And I got this got to be glue, freeze glue. I got the gel, so now I got the freeze glue. Let me put this on my hair before I leave. I'll do it on camera with you guys. I'ma sit you I need my tripod. Let's get the tripod. I haven't used my tripod, my regular tripod in so long. Hold on. Moments later. Okay, my friend girl told me to try this, so we gonna try. I wonder why it's leaning. Let me see brief directions. It says spray throughout, dry with damp hair, come through, but the tan do not rinse. Okay. How about I spray both? Let me see. This is just plain water. Okay, I can just 
Let me get my brush. Do y'all see a difference? This is my band-aid, by the way, if you noticed it. I put a band-aid on top of my um <laughs> bar piercing, industrial piercing, because it started bleeding. Oh, I do see a difference. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, maybe I was just something. I'll put a bit more right here, put a little water. Okay. Like a little, little poodle. But yeah, this is wig out, leave in conditioner by Style Factor. Mm -hmm. Okay. For real, let me go. So all I do is spray some water in it. You can put it on dry or not. I just want to, you know, see. Oh, I thought it was recording. I guess it wasn't. But I had to spray my industrial piercing you guys this is the worst piercing ever and i did a piercing on my i did a video on my doth piercing and it came out really really good it got a lot of views people really liked it so we well, should talk about this industrial piercing and then in this video there because i have a lot of stuff to just say i do want to try this kombucha with y'all mm. So, contrary to popular belief, or it may not be popular belief, I thought that getting the bar piercing, which is called industrial piercing, would be one of the simpler, easier piercings. But no, we're going to talk about it, sis. Hold on. Ooh, the skin popping. I did have a video coming on my skincare routine because if you saw my skin as I hit Odell, you'd be like, oh my gosh, what does she do? So, I'm going to make a video, a sit down video, not me driving and talking, but a sit down video of me telling you guys what I did to get my skin back popping. Because I don't have on any makeup, not even CC cream, nothing. Nothing. But for I'm going to get back to the video about the piercing in a second. Gotta go. The lighting in here is horrible, but bear with me. I'm in my office. Let's try these nasty stuff. So I can check out there and eat my lunch. I eat out for lunch every day, but this morning I didn't have time to like cook breakfast because I was about to do some stuff and I was running late. So I said I eat out for breakfast and then eat in for lunch. So that's what I'm doing. We're trying to say all the coins we can because a sister put on traveling for her kids. So, these does not taste like the ones they had back when I was little, but they're still good. I ain't gonna eat the original y'all. Okay, to the kombucha. Oh, I said, don't shake. Okay. Once again, it smells like apple cider vinegar. Oh, it's actually good. I can drink this. It tastes like lavender. Like overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, like lavender. If I drink it fast, I can't tell. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. 
Sounds like hand soap. You know how you smell hand soap? It tastes like the scent of hand soap. Why did I steal my hand? I don't know. Check it. Uh, I see something floating on top. This is disgusting. As many of these I've tasted and saw, I've never seen something actually floating and that would bother me because me seeing that makes me not want to drink it. Said enjoy by August 20th, 2019. So it's not old. I'm thinking it's like the mother. How you when you have apple cider vinegar? Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Um, I talk to you guys about this industrial piercing when I leave. So go get Odell. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Anyways, okay. About this piercing, you guys, this piercing is the worst, but it's so cute. So, um, I already had the hole that's on this far outside, and they had to put a hole right here at the top. Now, they had to make the hole that I already had a little wider, so they had to pierce it again. Did not hurt the hole at the top hurt really really bad <laughs> i didn't you know it, it wasn't that bad i guess because i have a high tolerance but it hurt worse than the dos piercing and any other piercing that i have ever had and i think it was more so the piercer versus the piercing because he was so like nonchalant rough but um you cannot sleep directly on it you have to make sure you don't put pressure on it because the pressure will make it take longer to heal. Okay, the camera just shaking. I don't know if it's shaking, but it's shaking. It'll take longer to heal if you sleep on it, and then you'll get a keloid, which is scar tissue. Um, you know, somebody made a good way to think of it. Think of it as fact that, like, say if you have a scab, and every time the scab heals, you pick the skin off of it. So if you get, this is how keloids get there. It's like the scab is trying to heal, but every time you like sleep on it or push the earring, you like irritating the scab. And so that's another thing you gotta think about when it comes to washing your hair, um, doing your hair, like my wig. I put this band on top of it because my wig was like bothering me. So I was like, I can't, I ain't got time. So I've been using sea salt spray because it makes it feel so good. Like if it ever start hurting, I spray it, it start, it stop, the pain goes away. Um, This piercing, really does take a long time to heal do not if you get a, a ring in there the ring you get make sure it's long longer than normal because it gives your ear time to go down because it's gonna swell up and it's gonna stay swollen for a good a while the man who pierced mine he pierced it with not the standard um bar he used one like one of those cute ones oh, you can't see right now it's like one of those little curly up ones that i chose if I had known that you needed one longer than normal, I would have chose one. But he didn't tell me that, and oh well. I didn't have any issues. I did, like, get, like, a little swelling on mine, but I know how to get rid of it. You can use tea tree oil and sea salt. Yeah. But if you're thinking about getting a bar piercing, it is a lot of work, and it takes a long time to heal. But I think it's worth it once it's healed. I don't know. Mine has not fully healed yet, but it's still so cute in pictures. Then the crazy thing about it is, like, I got this piercing right when I, after, I know I got the piercing first, but I got my haircut afterwards. And I didn't think about that when I went to get a haircut. So, when you know, if you get, if you're a guy, or, you know, if you've seen a guy get a haircut, they have to hold a ear, fold a ear down. Yeah, so it made my, me getting haircuts difficult. And then me getting haircuts also put pressure on me because I did have to let him hold it down and I and you know got hit and sucked it. So that made it take even longer to heal. So I think that's another part of why it hasn't healed yet because I've had my hair cut a couple times since I got this piercing. Um Yeah, I don't know what else to say about this piercing. Just make sure you do a lot of research on it because I did not. I just knew it was cute. I thought it was gonna be simple and it's not.
but yeah just if you get the sea salt spray spray sea salt on it a couple times a day just a quick if you don't know what spray i'm talking about um go look at my doth piercing video i don't have it in my purse but i have it in my purse but i don't it don't cost much you can order it from amazon or you can go to your local piercing shops and they should have some let me see i'm trying to think of any other things i can think of about this piercing i have yet to change it out they say you can change it after a couple months i don't plan on changing it that's why i bought the piercing jewelry that i wanted it'll be a long time before i change it good thing about it i don't have to cater to both holes because like i said the other hole i already had so it's healed it doesn't hurt it doesn't bother me nothing goes on with that side but the one at the top is the one that has you know to get healed but that's about it on the dos piercing oh nope industrial piercing so if you have any questions about either one of those you could just ask me um in the comments down below or whatnot yeah that's it on that thank you guys for watching this video vlog style i love vlogs so that's all i care about making but thanks for watching this video give it a thumbs up like it this thumbs up home i'm tripping if you have any questions concerns want to know something or i said something that didn't sound right or you know whatever just come in and while you're here you know subscribe and go like some other videos watch them and you know interact with me i'm going to end this vlog here mommy got work to do and i have odell in the back but i don't think y'all can see him let me see if i move it see my island me back there there you go but yeah see y'all in the next video